NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, are seeing an uptick in demand as a result of the rise in value of popular cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Street art's digital rights are being sold at eye-popping prices, and investors everywhere are wondering if they're worth it. But what exactly are non-fungible tokens or NFTs? Hi, how are you? We hope you're having a great day. This is the one and only Tech Factuala, reminding you to stay techy. In this channel, we bring you fantastic and informative news about the world of technology. We update you about the world's electronics, tech advances, and more. So, stay tuned! In this video, we will introduce you to non-fungible tokens or NFTs, and we will dig deeper into why they are so popular. Before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. It would also be nice if you could give this video a like and share it with your friends. People have spent millions of dollars on digital assets over the course of the last few months alone. Crypto artwork has been around for more than half a decade, but for so many individuals outside of the crypto world, these digital assets, also known as non-fungible tokens or NFTs, have appeared out of nowhere and are a source of great fascination and curiosity. So, what is it that is motivating people to join the NFT craze and invest anywhere from hundreds of thousands to, in some cases, even more massive amounts of money? Investors in cryptocurrency art believe it is the result of a mix of circumstances, including the pandemic and the surge in the price of Bitcoin. With their showy sales, crypto artists have drawn more attention than ever before to NFT marketplaces in the last few months, attracting more users than ever before. Let's get to know more about NFTs. Non-fungible tokens, also known as NFTs, are cryptographic resources that exist on a blockchain and are distinguished from one another by having unique identifying codes and metadata. Unlike cryptocurrencies, they are not eligible to be traded or swapped at face value. This is in contrast to fungible tokens, such as cryptocurrencies, which are all similar to one another and can thus be used as a vehicle for commercial operations to be completed. Each NFT has a unique construction that has the potential to be used in a variety of applications. Examples include the digital representation of physical assets, such as real estate and artwork, which they are particularly well suited for. The fact that they are built on blockchains means that they can also be used to eliminate intermediaries and link artists with fans, or even manage user identities. NFTs have the potential to eliminate middlemen, streamline transactions, and open new markets. But how does an NFT work? In essence, NFTs are similar to physical collector's artifacts, except they are digital. As a result, rather than receiving an actual oil painting to display on his or her wall, the customer receives a digital file. In addition, they are granted exclusive ownership and control. That is correct. NFTs can only have a single owner at any given moment. Because each NFT has a unique ID, it is simple to verify property and transfer tokens between different owners. It is possible for the owner or creator to keep special information within them. Using an NFT's metadata, for example, artists can sign their work by putting their signature in the file's metadata. When someone purchases an NFT, they acquire ownership rights to a one-of-a-kind token that exists exclusively on the blockchain. If someone purchases a picture or meme, they can claim ownership of that image or meme on the blockchain, but they have no authority over the rights to distribute it. It is important to note that when you purchase an NFT, you are not purchasing content, but rather a token that binds your name to the artist's art on the network. The digital tokens, on the other hand, are based on the same depreciating principles as Bitcoin. Although NFTs cannot be replicated, they can be easily validated, and they are unchangeable. There is no way to predict whether or not their value will remain stable over the long term. Before continuing with our video, what do you think of the information about NFTs that we've shared so far? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Next is, what is the best way to market and sell NFTs? It is possible to buy and sell NFT products on marketplaces, although the method varies from platform to platform. To put it simply, you will upload your work to a marketplace and then complete the on-screen instructions to convert it to an NFT. Detailing the work will be possible, as well as providing an outline of the project's scope and a proposed price range. Many NFTs can only be acquired using Ether. Thus acquiring a small amount of this cryptocurrency and keeping it in a digital wallet is usually the first step to taking part in this venture. After that, you can purchase NFTs from any of the online NFT marketplaces, such as OpenSea, Rarible, and SuperRare, among others. What is the big deal about non-fungible tokens? 
In comparison to the relatively simple concept of cryptocurrencies, non-fungible tokens represent a significant advancement. A wide range of asset classes can be traded and loaned in modern finance institutions, from real estate to lending contracts to fine art. NFTs advance the reimagining of this network by making it possible to represent physical assets digitally. Digital representations of real assets and the use of unique identification are not new concepts. It is when these notions are paired with the advantages of a secure blockchain of smart contracts that they have the potential to alter the world for the better. NFT's efficiency in the industry is perhaps their most evident advantage. Digitizing a physical asset simplifies operations by cutting out middlemen. On a blockchain, NFTs represent digital or physical artwork, eliminating the need for intermediaries. Moreover, they have the potential to boost the efficiency of businesses. Tokens that are not fungible are ideal for use in authentication. Consider the inconvenience of having to show a tangible passport at each point of entry and exit. With the conversion of individual passports into NFTs, it is possible to simplify the entrance and leave procedures of governments. NFTs can also be utilized for identity and access management in the digital space, broadening this usage scenario. It is also possible for NFTs to equalize investments by fractionalizing physical assets such as real estate. Multiple owners can more easily split up a digital real estate asset. Artwork, for example, can be tokenized in the same way that real estate is tokenized. Furthermore, the emergence of new markets and investing methods is the most intriguing potential for NFTs. Should you invest in NFTs? Investing in non-financial technologies is primarily a personal decision. If you have the means, it may be worthwhile to consider purchasing a piece, especially if it has sentimental value to you. But keep in mind that the value of an NFT is totally dependent on how much someone else is prepared to pay for it. In this case, demand will drive the cost rather than basic, technical, or economic factors, which often impact stock prices and, at the very least, serve as the basis for investor demand in the traditional sense. All of this means is that you may have to resell your NFT for less than what you paid for it. If no one is interested in buying it, you may be unable to resell it at all. Similarly to when you sell equities at a profit, NFTs are likewise subject to capital gains taxes. Because they are recognized collectibles, they may not be eligible for the favorable long-term capital gains rates that apply to stocks. And they may even be subject to a higher collectibles tax rate. However, the IRS has not yet determined what constitutes a non-fungible transfer for taxation purposes. Keep in mind that the cryptocurrencies used to acquire the NFT may also be subject to taxation if their value has increased since you purchased them. So, you may want to consult with a tax specialist before adding NFTs to your investment. That being said, you should approach NFTs in the same way you would any other investment. Do your homework, understand the dangers which include the possibility of losing all your investment money, and if you decide to purchase one, continue with a reasonable degree of caution. And that's the video! What do you think? We hope that knowing more about NFTs has sparked your interest. Now it's your turn! If you have any ideas or suggestions, don't hesitate to comment below. We always love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell to be updated on new videos. Again, this is the one and only Tech Factuala, reminding you to stay techy. Thanks for watching.